Hey guys. So it's been a while since I've kind of done like a vlog. I do these more in the winter because, well, just because, but <laughs> um, I am multitasking today. I'm trying to record a video for my canning of, well, the recipe and the canning of my beef cabbage soup. And so I've got all that set up, but I'm trying to wait till my hair um, air dries. So I'm going to uh, do a couple other things and I thought I'll just take you guys along with me. I think I have a couple of clips like one from yesterday. My onion harvest wasn't great. It was decent but I spent all morning you know I have a lot of small onions and then this is um, the top so I'm going to put them in a freezer bag and freeze those that way I can put them like this is for the cabbage soup but there's my meat and I just threw some of those onion tops to add some flavor to the meat. I already have one bag in the freezer that I did yesterday. This is just the rest of the onions. I decided not to um, store any of them. I'm just going to put these in the chopper, chop them up, put them in another Ziploc baggie like this and freeze them and we'll just, we'll use them that way. It just, it wasn't the greatest crop. So um, I'm worried that they'll spoil. <laughs> so, uh, and there's not that many, so I'll just do it this way because they're so little. It took time to chop up, but yeah, I didn't want to waste them. So this is what I did with them of some, some, a couple things that I was doing. And then also of, uh, I was updating you on my arrow garden and uh, crack key method micro dwarf progress. So I just got done uploading my doing this for the first time. And I said in that video, I'd give you updates of how things looked, but it's been nine days. These popped up actually, I think on day six, I've only got one dud, so there it is i don't think it's going to germinate um but i'm gonna just leave it alone um i'm probably gonna need to up pot all but two of these i would think into something different maybe more jars but i did mod podge one of them last night and i think it turned out pretty good i might need to put a second layer on it because it still looks like it's not entirely dark in there but um, i'm gonna do the rest of those later but today i'm working on another video I'm recording my um, canning my cabbage soup recipe. So, so there's the update. Doing pretty good, I think. Even the ones in the jars, all four of those popped up. This one's starting to get a touch leggy. So, um, but yeah. All but one, yay. And these, these like stickers or whatever that are supposed to go on here, they do not stay. I don't, the little sponge thing pops them up. So I have some stuff I got to take out to the compost pile. I have some stuff I got to harvest and I wanted to show you a couple things in the garden. Okay, one of the things I wanted to show you all is an update on these. I don't know if you caught that video where I, sh I added, I had four of these uh, rain gutters and I added another one. Um, but all the lettuce is popping up really nicely. And when it gets down below, Oh, 28 degrees what I've been doing is I have this plastic with these and it has a few nights already but when it I know it's going to get down I put this plastic on and then I just um so I clip it to the top like that plastic and then it comes all the way down to the bottom and I clip it to the bottom and then I kind of ram this little table it fits perfectly right there to kind of keep and it seems to be working I think the heat there's probably a little bit of heat that you get from inside the house that keeps like this area, you know, slightly ab above the temperature that it is directly, you know, outside. But for the most part, this is working really well. I need to come out and harvest a whole bunch of it. We've been eating it like crazy. Up on the top here is kale, little baby kales. But that's what we've been doing. And then here at the green stalks, there's some stuff popping up. It's doing pretty well. And to protect these, I'm kind of doing the same thing with plastic. So, so we have a wood burning stove that we heat our house with in the winter. And so when you buy, I think, I don't know if it's a ton, you get like a pallet of pellets. And last year on the outside of those pallets, they had a huge, it was all one piece, a big like square piece of plastic. And that piece of plastic fits perfectly over these green stalks. So that's what I've been doing. I put the plastic over it. 
I clip it on the top and then I have um, rocks. Yeah, right here you can see a rock. I have rocks that I just hold the plastic down so that the, you know, if it gets windy, it doesn't like pick it up and pull it off. But um, these are sugar snap peas. Keeping those things covered when it gets like, you know, hard freezes. Oh, I think I might be able to grow stuff in these all winter. We'll see. Well, I mean like cold hardy stuff. I have a pet rabbit. She is very old. <laughs> she's gonna be 11 years old in February. And because she's a little old lady, um, she gets urinary tract infections um, quite often. We've had to in the past, actually. She just doesn't drink enough water. You know, when you get old, you forget to do stuff. <laughs> and I believe that she does the same. We've had to even um, give her in like IVs of like water, like in her back. I hate doing that. I don't like to do it. Um, that's only when she gets really bad. But I've been trying to do some more holistic methods and trying to keep her from getting UTIs as well as if she does get them, which you can tell because the, the color of her urine looks different. Raspberry leaves. So I've got my raspberries and I'm here to pick some and echinacea of course my echinacea is dead now so i won't be using that but we're gonna pick some leaves to feed her so i have some that i already picked but i wanted to get this bag filled because i don't know how long these are going to survive before they go bad so i'd like to kind of stock up a little bit So there's my bear, there's my bunny, and uh, so all I've been doing is, here's one of the leaves from yesterday, so all I've been doing is whenever I give her her kale and stuff to eat, I just also drop a few of the raspberry leaves for her to eat, and she really likes those. She eats them a lot. Right, bun bun? Right, bun bun? She is the sweetest, aren't you, bear? Yep. to get chilly out here. Alright, so I just wanted to, I don't think I've showed you all the garden since it died. This right here is our project next. Now that, you know, gardening has kind of died back, we're ripping this apart. Well, we redid this and we redid this, but as you can see, it's just I think I told you guys before that uh, we used recycled wood when we built that and probably not the brightest idea. I mean, it's five years old. It lasted us five years, so that's not too bad. But it's definitely time to redo it because we didn't use it at all this year because we didn't want to fall through it. <laughs> but here are the peppers. So what I'll probably do is just chop and drop. I'll clip them at the bottom and then just leave them lay here and just as they decompose, they'll feed the dirt and kind of keep everything, um, keep the ground covered so that the microorganisms and everything can, you know, not be exposed. But I did get a couple of bottle gourds there that I did not plant. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there's a pumpkin, but it rotted. There's another little bottle gourd. Okay. <sighs> there are just, I swear you guys, there are ground cherries everywhere. Like, I don't, I'm not sure if <laughs> I should have, I, you know what, when you calm, when you put everything in your compost pile, like I even put seeds and sometimes those seeds don't get, um, like the compost pile doesn't get heated up enough to kill off the seeds and then you just have volunteers everywhere. Sometimes I think it's cool, but this whole ground cherry situation is driving me nuts. <sighs> These girls look a hot mess. I got... This is the first time I've ever seen them like molt, like really molt. And I came out one day and I thought that something had gotten inside my coop. But look inside here. You 
see that? I was like counting. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally didn't see any like predator in here. But then I realized they're all molting. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? Yeah. You're just losing your butt feathers. You're just losing your butt feathers. Pretty girl. Nope, can't leave. old cutting boards I'm gonna store these in here in case I need to chop up everything since I got my new cutting board I don't need to keep these in the house anymore look at that some lettuce that germinated really well this patch right here but then I I started some more oh I guess that's been the same day I started the uh the rain gutter lettuce so it's just popping up Got some carrots back there. I'm probably gonna harvest those and have honey butter carrots for Thanksgiving. Some volunteer kale. This is a volunteer kale patch. And then I did not get any squash. I had the baby flowers. Right here I had a little baby squash, but as you can see, I did it too late. I have to know next year, but my cabbages and stuff are looking pretty darn good. I'm pleased course I had a couple cucumbers right back here they didn't they're dead um but the cabbages and the sugar snap peas are, uh, um, we're probably about to get some sugar snap peas um they're getting pretty big and then the tomato plant I need to clean this out they're pretty much done for oh I think I've got some green tomatoes in here I could probably do some uh fried green tomatoes with these Pockets aren't big enough. Alright, this one. It's got a big hole in it. Yes. I just thought I'd give you a little peek at what's happening in here. Oh, I hope that's not very loud. No one up leaves. <laughs> oh well. I'm gonna walk down here and see if any of these pumpkins I can use. I wanted to try to can some of my own pumpkin. Make my own pumpkin muffins and pumpkin pie. But I have a prediction for y'all. Um, I don't know if you've heard about like the weather pattern that we're in. We're in like El Nino or I can't remember, but last time we were in one of those was 2016 and we got a whole bunch of snow, a whole bunch of snow. Oh, so sad. Look at all that. All the dead tomato plants. Everything is dead. Sometimes I don't even clean this up <laughs> until next year. By next year, when I'm going to plant, it'll all be like really crispy and just it'll break off really easily. So sometimes I just leave it here. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what I get to. Sometimes I'll clean. It. Maybe I'll clean it up just so I have it ready and that's one less thing I have to do. What I was saying was, have you noticed, now, and the, this 2016 was the last time I noticed this too, the acorns. So like the acorn trees, underneath of them, the ground is just covered in them. Also the walnut trees, holy moly. Like I'm wondering, does like the earth know it needs to prepare for something in certain places? I'm predicting a big one this year. I'm going to say we're going to get an over two footer second or third week of January. I'd be okay if it happened then. <laughs> I'm just going to leave these on the vine to dry out. I've heard you can do that. This one, yeah, it's already dried out hollow. I could probably take that and save. I can't hear the seeds, but let's see if I can break it off of there. Huh. What can I do with this? Any suggestions? Eh. Walking stick? Boop. Boop. Yeah, I need to come down and get this stuff. Oh, look at all the little 
Yeah, look, 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 look. <gasps> Little bottle cards. Oh my gosh, are they not adorable? <gasps> I'm gonna make a wind chime with them. That was my plan. Oh, let's see. Let's just. <sighs> I just can't even. They're so cute. And they're everywhere. Oh, look, they're oh, stepping on them. All the little bottle gourds. There's one. Ew. Oh man. That's not good. That's a bummer. Oh, oh. Oh, there's my uh rhubarb next year, I think there'll be enough that I can actually harvest it. Oh man, they, they froze and probably split. Okay, is this one still okay? Yep, we're done. Okay, we're gonna take this one. Yep, yep. And I think those two are okay. All right, I'm gonna take these up. All right, so I gotta get back inside. I am trying to can and make a, oh, I got, oh no, a little sticker. I just put my arm in it, son of a gun. I got a lot of work I need to do down here, but I gotta go back inside because I am working on a video canning my cabbage soup, my beef cabbage soup. I just had a bowl of it, it's so good. Now it's time to, to can it. But I'm going to take these pumpkins upstairs, up the stairs. It's going to take me a few trips. I just wanted to show you guys what things kind of look like right now. Gosh, isn't that beautiful when the sun is just... <sighs> I do I do like where I live. It is, it is really pretty a lot of the year. <laughs> um, let me guys know what you think um, of my prediction. Are you predicting any kind of uh, storm and at what point in the um, winter you think we're going to get it. But I'm telling you, I'm watching these squirrels, watching these chipmunks, and they are like balls to the wall, saving those acorns <laughs> um, that are on, off the trees. So they're preparing for something. And like I said, I ain't seen this since the last time we got a big old storm in 2016. So I think it's going to happen. We've had some really uh, mild winters the past few years, like hardly any kind of precipitation as far as like snow, but this year I think we're going to get hammered. One of those weeks that you can't leave the house. You know, every once in a while, every one time every 10 years, I can deal with that. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one and I hope you all enjoy your day. Bye.